Not going to be long-winded about this. He knows as well as I do, if you know anything about nutrition and exercise, that you need the five types of collagen for healthy bones, tendons, ligaments, skin, nails, teeth, hair, whatever. This has all five. Check it out. Check my link in the description below. Read all about it. Watch the videos and grab some. Okay, with the full-on 24-hour day, seven-day week onslaught from mainstream media covering the expanse of the pandemic, I couldn't not do this video. I want us to all keep something in mind here. An injustice against one man anywhere is injustice against all men everywhere. And necessity will always be the plea for every infringement of human freedoms. It will always be the argument of tyrants, and it will always be the creed of slaves. Trending on Twitter today is the U.S. has surpassed its record for the most new CV-19 cases in a single day with over 36,000, they say. The previous record was 34,203. Look how specific they got. How can they be so specific? Not making any assertions here, YouTube. I'm just asking questions. Was set back in April. But let's talk about this from the New York Post. Man booted from Florida bound flight at LGA for not wearing mask. We're going to go over this video in a minute. But I just want to ask you, how different would our world be if we stood for each other, if we had each other's backs, if you had the backs of other, everybody else and everybody else had your backs? See, the problem is mainstream media has specialized in distracting, deceiving, and dividing the masses. And because we're so distracted, we're easily conquered. We're divided. We're not in each other's corner. We've had the wool pulled over our eyes. And because of that, nobody's standing in anybody's corner. Nobody's standing up for anybody, except you're going to see something different in this video right here. A man was captured on video being removed from a Florida-bound flight at LaGuardia Airport on Friday for not wearing a face mask. The tense standoff unfolded when a man whose name was not known, quote, took his face covering off and refused to put it back on, a spokesman for Spirit Airlines said. A video from inside the plane shows part of an exchange between a Port Authority cop and the man in which the officer asked the passenger to get off the plane and the man argues with him. The cop says, I don't want to force you, I'm asking you. We're going to see this in a second. A spokesman for the airline said that the man eventually agreed to the plane on his own instead of risking legal consequences. So we've come to a point in our world where you're threatened with legal consequences if you don't obey the authority and the airline and put your mask on. They said spirit will always err on the side of caution when it comes to the health and safety of our guests. What about the health and safety of the person you're requiring to wear a mask? Wearing a face covering is simple, it's easy, and it's critical to spirit and the airline industry as a whole. This document right here, which I will not talk about right here on this channel, because if I talk about this, bad things happen to channels that do. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave this link in the description somewhere, possibly in the description of this video. You'll just have to find it. But this comes this is a well-researched document about face coverings from well-respected scientists and medical groups. Now let's take a look. Everybody takes a drink from their drink, they take their mask off. They take their mask off to drink. They take their mask off to drink. I appreciate what this cameraman's saying. He's saying everybody takes their mask off to take a drink. Everybody takes their mask off to eat something on the plane. People sitting on the plane actually take their masks off. And if you follow the logic trail, if you're taking your mask off, you're subjecting everybody in the airline to your infection. We can't have that, but they do allow that. So there are certain things that they allow and certain things that they say they don't allow, and it's all in complete hypocrisy and inconsistency. 
didn't get in anybody's That's face. Racist. Did I get in anybody's That's face? Racism. Did I get in That's anybody's racism. face? All of these people. <laughs> this guy's saying it's racism because this is a black guy. This is a white guy telling this black guy that he needs to get off the plane. And the guy with the camera saying this is racism. Throwing the, the crazy idea of being racist back in their faces. And it's classic. On a plane, I didn't get in nobody's face. I've been sitting here off. waiting for you to come. Let this man fly. Right here. Why can't he go home? Like I said, well, I'm going home to see my father out of stroke. I live up in the mountains. So, well, all right, I'm gonna ask you, what would you like me to do? I'd like to stay on the flight. I can't force you. I can't force them to let me stay on the flight. Why am I being forced? To come? Why are you forced? I can't force them to let you stay on this flight, but I can force you to get off this flight. I like what this cameraman's doing, but what if everybody did that? What would this cop do? What would the airlines do if everybody goes, hey, I'm standing for this guy right here. I got this guy's back. We agree with this guy. He wants to go see his dad. He wants to stay on the flight. We want to stay on the flight. Get on with it and take us off the tarmac and put us in the air. We're all taking our masks off. Screw this. What if everybody stood together? If we don't stand together, we will most certainly hang separately. What if everybody took their masks off and, and started just belting out, Oh, the land of the free and the home of the brave. This is America. Land of the free, remember? Free to do whatever you want to as long as you don't lift up your hand to harm somebody else. Free to walk on an airplane with or without a mask if you want. What happened to options? Sure, people can wear their masks if they want. Isn't that what they're wearing it for? To protect themselves from other people? And to protect other people from yourself? Isn't that the whole idea? So if everybody else is wearing a mask and I'm not, they're protected, right? You're protected. You're sitting here talking to me. You must not think you're in too much of a danger, officer, from CV-19. Because you're standing way closer than six feet to me. You're not practicing social distancing as you're telling me to get off the plane. It's all hypocrisy. It's all inconsistency. No, I'm staying on the flight. I'm going to my father who's bad as wrong. I'm not leaving the flight. Get a supervisor. No, it's fine. I'm not flying. No, it's fine. Bro, I'm a purple heart, bro. I'm a purple heart. I gave my, I gave my life for this country. If you take him off, but I didn't, I didn't even say that to her. I, I haven't even got up out of my seat to use the bathroom. And I said to the gentleman, I wonder if the, I wonder if the guy with the camera stood by that. He said, if you're taking him off, you're taking me off too. There is nothing the airlines could do. There's nothing this Port Authority officer could do if everybody stood up and stood together. But the reason people aren't standing up and standing together, the reason this guy's staying on his cell phone, pretending like he doesn't know what's going on here, the reason he's not interceding for this guy is because we have been distracted, deceived, and divided, and therefore conquered as an American people. We don't stand up for each other anymore. We don't stand for what is right. We don't resist tyranny. Necessity, they're talking about, hey, this is necessary. Necessity is the plea for every infringement of human freedoms. This is an infringement of human freedoms. It's the argument of tyrants. It's the creed of slaves. Guys, if you enjoy these videos and you want to support this channel, the best way you can support this is by liking and sharing this video with everybody you know, everywhere you can on social media. I'm fighting against billion dollar corporate media and censorship loving social media. So when you like and share this video, it helps me to overcome the YouTube algorithms. Leave your thoughts about this for the world and the Google Thought Police in the comment section below and be looking for that link in the description and in the pinned comment. Okay, before you go anywhere, a lot of people have asked me if they can get a shirt from the store with the design on the back. Let me show you real quick what you can do within the store as far as self-editing your own design that you can put on any shirt, hoodie, mug, phone case, whatever. Pick out any design from the store, then select any item. And guys, there are hundreds of items to choose from. Hats, beanies, bags, buttons, men's items, women's items, stuff for kids, and even pets. I'll just select this shirt right here. You can change the item color to whatever you want. Hit this little pencil editing tool right here and then click on customize. You can enlarge, shrink, or reposition the design on any item. You can also click over here to the left on designs and add any design you want. Matter of fact, you can put as many designs as you want on the front or on the back of the shirt. 
or you can click on text and add some customized lettering. With the lettering, you can change the font, change the font color, increase the size, and you can even bend the tags. And check this out. If you want a design or lettering on the back or on the sides, just click on where you want your design or text, click on the design or text tool, or you can even upload your own design. It only increases the price of the item a couple bucks. And you can do this on any item that you select. The store link is in the description and in the pinned comment. Your purchase gets you a kick-ass design and supports the channel while it helps me create more content. Leave your thoughts about this video for the world and the Google Thought Police in the comments section below.